All right, so the next step is to pull the walls up. When you pull the walls up, you're actually creating your form. So for this demonstration, what I'm gonna do is just do a real simple cylinder shape. So I'm gonna get my wheel going again, and now I only need my wheel going about half the speed, maybe a quarter of the speed that it was going before. It all depends on what you're comfortable with. If you're going too slow though, the clay won't move. So I'm gonna get the clay wet, make sure my hands are wet. And then I'm going to use a hand position kind of like this. I always have my hands touching. This gives me the most stability that I can have. My left hand is gonna go all the way down on the inside, up against the wall. My right hand goes all the way down to the bat on the outside. And I'm going to push my fingers together, something like that. So I'll be pinching the clay. As I pinch the clay, the clay moves upwards. When it starts to move upwards, I continue pinching the clay with just enough force to keep that movement going. And I gently slide my hands up the clay in control and right up and off the top. More water. Now each time I do this, the clay gets a little thinner. So I have to pay attention to how thick the walls are at this point. If I pinch too hard, I'll make the walls too thin and they'll tear apart in my fingers. And this could take several pulls to get this right. Have to remain in control. Don't let the clay push you around. You control the clay. Okay, so if your form starts to get a little funky, it's moving around, it's not quite centered, you can do something called collaring, and that's where you take your hands like this, put them on either side, gently squeeze the clay, locking your hands so they're not moving around, and just slide your hands up the clay that will move the clay back onto center. All right, so the next step now is to remove the excess clay. The top of our form that we're creating has to be even, because later on we're gonna flip this upside down and trim the bottom. If this is not even on top, when we flip it upside down, it won't sit evenly, and it'll make it very difficult to trim the bottom. So to get that just right, you're gonna take your needle tool, you're gonna to put your thumb about a half an inch down from the top, and make sure your clay has plenty of water on it so your fingers don't stick. Put your thumb about a half an inch down, your index finger just opposite of your thumb on the inside, hold the needle tool just like that. Put the needle on your thumb, and you're gonna use your thumb as a guide so you're gonna gently push your needle through the clay. When you feel the needle touch your finger on the inside, wait for a second so you know it cuts all the way through, all the way to the inside, all the way around. And then you'll gently lift that excess clay right off the top. Just like that. So you can see what that did to the top there. Sometimes it doesn't happen that bad. Sometimes it happens a little worse, but that's an easy fix. You just put your fingers right back where you had them, take your sponge, gently push down right above your fingers, drag the sponge on there, and that will smooth it down and straighten it out and get it all back on center. And it makes it nice and even. All right, so there's always excess clay down at the bottom of your pottery down here. And we want to remove that excess clay. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make the walls the same thickness from the top all the way down to the bottom. So to remove this excess clay down here, we're going to use this tool and you're going to hold it like this, your opposite hand on top, and you're just going to gently rest it on the wheel. Don't push down into the bat because it'll push the tool out of your hands. 
and you very gently start sliding that tool forward. As you do that, it'll start to shave away the surface of the clay, and that's all you want to have happening. You don't want to push it into the clay too hard. You just want to shave it off nice and even, remove that clay a little bit more. You can turn this tool up on end to get higher spots. You can also use the other side of the tool if you want to. Whatever works for what you're trying to create. So when you have that done now, what we want to do is remove the excess water that's on the inside. So take your sponge. Hold it on the inside until it sucks up all that water. And there you have a very simple cylinder form. So then to remove this from the wheel, the next step is to use your wire tool. So you take your wire tool in your hands and you're gonna grab onto the handle can't see both hands just yet. What we're going to do is wrap this around the back of your hand, grab it with your index finger, push down with your thumb. And the easiest way to do this is to get the wheel spinning very slowly, push down, keep the wire straight and tight so it runs right along the surface of the bat and then just gently start pulling back toward yourself. And all the way through, and then your pottery is loose.